Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream, and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Witch Queen Season of the Seraph Intel. And in this video, we're going to be covering a couple of glitches for the new Spire of the Watcher dungeon. Both will help with solo or flawless runs on any difficulty, even if you're trying to attempt the master, as I'm sure some people are moving on to that by this point. We're also going to be covering a damage glitch for the boss and, of course, a workaround for all the mechanics. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on the bell so you never miss out on any future Destiny 2 Witch Queen content like this. So the first glitch we're going to be covering is an out of bounds glitch. This will actually allow you to get the first secret chest without actually having to do any of the encounters. So. If you're not actually interested in just doing the dungeon itself and just want some free loot, you can do it this way. I also think you might be able to skip even further than I do in this gameplay, though I haven't actually tested it yet as though it does seem like the path is there, I don't exactly know where to get back inside the map as that's really the hard part with a lot of these out of bounds glitches. Actually getting outside of the map is usually the easy part. This is primarily a glitch that will revolve around the titan and the warlock i think as in order to do this on a hunter you're going to need to know how to sword fly which is not that difficult but a little bit more advanced as far as glitches go with a titan you can just use the lion rampant boots and a sword to do some sword flying if you're on a warlock a heat rising Grenade will usually get you across that one major gap that you saw me sword flying across, which is going to be the toughest part for the hunter. Now, once you're here, like I said, you can probably go further, but I'm going to jump back inside the map. I have to kind of make my way back up here as I hit a load zone, which allows me to actually do the skip. And over into this corridor, which is sort of ambiguously placed, you might not even notice it. But then once in here, you are back inside the map and can continue to the first secret chest. So this is good for a flawless run if it's something you're trying to attempt. Probably not solo outside of just getting the first chest. You might be able to get further on into the dungeon. I don't know exactly if you could maybe have somebody join you just to trigger a load zone and then continue forward and have them leave if that would count as a solo it has worked something like that in the past for certain dungeons though not always but worth a shot nonetheless and of course who doesn't want some free loot now the next glitch is going to primarily revolve around the bosses but mainly the last boss as you saw in my previous video you can use the Shadebinder Super to activate all the nodes in both boss rooms. Really comes in handy in the final boss room as everything's a little bit more stacked together and you're not really going out on one limb or one gantry or another. It's just all in these two rooms. So maybe I would recommend not as a solo player because you're going to want the damage buffs that we're going to talk about in a second. But if you are doing this in a group and just trying to go for a flawless run, uh, definitely something to consider as helps out your teammates it makes a damage phase really quick and usually you get your super by the time the next damage phase comes around so it lets you take out a whole side in seconds and makes the whole process a lot faster might be good to have one on your team if you're just trying to farm out the dungeon but the damage glitch is probably going to be the thing that most people are going to go to, even at the sacrifice of a Shadebinder super at this point, because the Well of Radiance is really bugged at the moment. And for some reason, when you are in your own Well of Radiance, so not in a teammate's, you do about 93% more damage with all weapons. So if you had three Warlocks, all with their own Well of Radiance, each one would be able to do 93% more damage. You just have to make sure that everybody activates them individually at their own time. Not sure why this is, but it's what's happening at the moment. I think the go-to loadout is comboing this with the new mod for grenade launchers, the weakened clear, and then everybody rocking either an arc rocket launcher or a um, Gallarhorn. 
Uh, the only reason I think ARC rocket launchers seem to be the go-to is because a font of might and a lot of Titans wanting to use ARC. So that's the only reason to prefer ARC maybe over a solar or void rocket launcher. For a Warlock, fusion grenades seem to be the go-to. So make sure you have Starfighter Protocol equipped and uh, a Gallahorn. Fusion Grenade Spam all day and Galahorn, and it seems to be the best boss melt method, of course, with that Well of Radiance Super. And that's going to be it for all the information in today's video. Hopefully you found something in this video helpful. If you are just a solo player looking to get some extra dungeon loot maybe you were able to get through one or two encounters on your own but not the final encounter or maybe you're just looking for a way to skip past the first encounter to limit the chances of dying if you are trying to attempt either a solo or a flawless run please remember to like comment and subscribe to the youtube channel and turn on the bell the post notifications so you never miss out on any future destiny 2 Witch Queen season of the Seraph content like this. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. Any of those things I just mentioned also, of course, enter you into any future giveaways on this YouTube channel. And I do one every thousand subscribers, so you never want to miss out. Usually we do a seasonal pass giveaway. So, of course, we're getting close to Lightfall, so that's also on the books. And if you've watched to this point in the video, please remember to leave a hashtag Season of the Seraph or a hashtag Witch Queen or a hashtag Spire of the Watcher in the comments section down below. That'll give you another entry into the next giveaway for this video. Remember, I do a secret hashtag on all videos. So if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content on this channel, you can always go back, check out another video, and of course, do it again. Big shout outs to my buddy Sinister, Ducky, Buddha. DJ, Mickey, and Demon, as well as Revos, for helping me with this dungeon over the last few days in one way or another. And once more, I am Wilhelm Scream. Of course, we will see you next time.